Okay, let's now go through the loading of the drink portion of the HF3500. Uh, to load the drink section, we're going to open the door by turning the T-handle counterclockwise. Open the door. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put one of our displays inside of the live display area here on the door so the customers know what they're buying. So we're going to remove the wing nuts of the cover and put one of each of the display pan items in the display window. And we'll sit this right on the ledge and put it on the display area. And you want to check up front here, make sure that you have a good visible display. Now we simply just take the cover for the display area, set it back on, and put the wing nuts back on, tighten it down. Sure, everything looks good there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to load the products into the different um, selection areas. And this is a serpentine style canned drink machine. And what that means is when I put the soda or the drink into the selection, it will then roll down to the auger or the delivery auger down inside the delivery section. So we put a can, we'll put this one here. That's going to roll right down, and it's going to come to rest down in by the auger or the delivery auger. And you have to have a minimum of three cans in each selection to activate the sold out switch. If you don't have three cans, two cans, it's going to make it seem like the selection is sold out. And the reason that is, is you always want to have two cans once the selection gets down to two cans and you refill it. So if you refill it with warm product, the first two vents are still cold. They're the remaining two cans that were there prior to that. So the first couple people are sure to get a cold drink. Um, what you do is simply load each one of your selections till all your selections are filled. And that's pretty much the loading of the drink portion. It's pretty simple.